Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how to solve the scene elevator basic in Factory IO. How we want the scene to work is that there will spawn pallets from one side, and we want them to go all the way to the other side. The elevator should always try to use the first level to send the pallets. But if that one is occupied, it should lift up the pallets to the next level that isn't occupied. Let's check out the programming in TIA portal for this scene. For the left elevator, I made a function block to make it work. Let's open it up and check out the programming. In the first three rungs, I made a tag so the lift know which level it is at. The elevator got a sensor on the side for each level that will decide on which level is activated. In the next three rungs, I will use this level tag to tell which level is occupied and not. When the pallet have passed by the elevators at exit left sensor, it will set the occupied tag depending on which level it is at. And the level will be occupied for as long until the pallet have passed by the at exit sensors on the other side of the levels. In the next rung, I made so that depending on which levels are occupied, different scenarios should happen. So as an example, if level 1 and 2 is occupied and level 0 is not occupied, then it will choose scenario 1. Or if level 0 is occupied but level 1 and 2 is not, then it will choose scenario 2. When scenario 1 sets active, the lift will load the pallet and let it go until it passed the exit left sensor at level 0. When scenario 2 sets active, the lift will first load the pallet. Then it will lift up the pallet towards level 1. It will do so until it hits the at low sensor. Then it will slow the lift down until it hit the higher sensor at level 1 and stop there. Then it will load off the pallet on level 1 until it passed by the at exit left sensor. Then it will go down again until it hits the lower sensor at level 0. Once it's done, it will move the value 0 to the scenario again to let it decide which next scenario it should choose from, and also move the value 0 to the sequence step tag so it can do the sequence again. If scenario 3 sets active, it will do a similar sequence, but now it will go to level 2 instead. It will first load the pallet then go up to the higher level sensor and load the pallet on level 2. Then it will go back down again to level 0. And like the previous sequence, it will move the value 0 to the step tag and scenario tag. In the last rung of code, I have made a tag that let the entry conveyor know when there's a pallet or not on the lift, so it will easier know when to load or not. I made a function block for the right elevator too. Let's open it up and see how I programmed it. Similarly to the left conveyor, I made a three different scenario case. But on this one, it is the at exit sensors that will decide which scenario will happen. It is the sensors that are located at the end of the three conveyors. So for example, if level 0 and 2 is occupied, but level 1 is not, then it will do scenario 2. Or for example, if level 1 and 2 is occupied, but level 0 is not, then it will do scenario 1. When scenario 1 sets active, the lift will unload the pallet from the lift until it passed the exit right sensor. If scenario 2 sets active, then it will start a sequence similarly to the left elevator function block. First it will start go up towards level 1, and at the lower sensor it will slow down and then stop at the higher sensor. 
Next, it will load the pallet on the elevator. Then the lift will go down to level zero, and same like when it goes up, it will slow down at the first sensor, then stop at the second sensor. Then the last thing it will do is to unload the pallet until it passed by the exit sensor. Then it will give the value zero to the step sequence and to the scenario to reset them both. If scenario three sets active, then it will do same like scenario two, but go to the second level. Then load the pallet on the lift. Then go back down to level zero. And lastly, unload the pallet from the lift and give the value zero to the step sequence and scenario tag. And on the last rung of code, I made same as on the left elevator, a tag to that let the conveyors know that a pallet is on the lift. In my main block, I made the programming for all the conveyors and stack lights. For the entry conveyor, it should always run until it blocks the at entry sensor, or when the lift don't have a pallet and all the levels isn't occupied, it is the signals we send out from the function block. It also makes sure the lift is at level zero with the at left low sensor. For the conveyors at the different three levels, they will latch themselves when the at entry sensors gets blocked and will unlatch themselves once they reach the at exit sensors. Then they will start again once the lift reached the respective levels and make sure there are no pallets on the right lift. The exit conveyor will set itself when the at exit right sensor gets blocked and will reset itself when it passed by the at exit sensor. The two warning lamps will be active when either the lift goes up or down. And the stacking lights will glow green when the respective level isn't occupied. The yellow light will glow when the level is occupied. And the red light will start glow when the pallet reaches the levels at exit sensors. This is all the programming I made for this scene. Let's try it out while monitor it from T8 Portal. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.